effects, results in patients with age less than one year old. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. We are presenting our experience in periventricular device closure of ventricular septal defects uh, in patients with age less than one, one year. So our hospital, our position in the database. Uh, our history, this is that our first uh, publication about that, about our first experience in 2012. We use a member part uh, occlusion device and a member part uh, delivery system for these procedures. Uh, indication, no restrictions for us regarding age and weight. Uh, all significant premembranous VSD and the kind of muscular VSDs are closed. Uh, contraindication additional significant lesions, uh, problems with uh, valves, inlet VSD, and acarditis. Uh, uh, Cluedo selection using empirical method, VSD diameter plus one for perimembranous and VSD plus two for muscular VSDs. Our uh, easy protocol, general anesthesia, median low half mini stenotomy, detection of point, epicardial pustin suture, and gaparin, one milligram per kilo. Small skin incision, adjustment of the delivery system with device, loader is ready for implantation, uh, find the point of uh, puncture by pincers, uh, guide introduction, position of the right hand before implantation, and at this moment assistant takes off his pincers, and now only surgeon holds both for me and the delivery sheets. Left hand, not only hold the rear, but also manipulates, especially if there is need to change the direction of the loading. We created this approach in Russia for our procedures. Push and pull maneuver after implantation of the device, and the suture, secure suture is cut, close to RV and pull out. Final view, postoperative care, early extubation, uh, TE and X-ray control, short hospital stay. Our experience more than 200 cases in Russia during two, two years, uh, including f 41 patients less than one year, success rate 96%, median age eight months. Subotic VSDs, 27% uh, overall. Operation period less than 30, 40, 40 minutes, 48 and 8%. And we haven't any uh, um, problems with wells. One example, subaortic VSD, six months patient, guide wire, delivery shears, left disc, right disc, no shunt. Ventilation time, around two hours, no entropic support. Our results, a residual chance for patients uh, within one or two millimeters, 7.8%, closed during the first six months. Freedom from written disorders, 100%. Uh, our adv uh, advantages, safety and deficiency, wide use and high success rate, no dependence from vascular set size, post-op pain reduction, fast recovery and short hospital stay, no use CPB X-ray, excellent cosmetic results, quick procedure, low operation cost in our hospital. Thank you very much. Thank you for your attention. Okay, I, I have two questions. Uh, why you choose the patient only the one year, the younger? What, what are the what were the youngest patients? Youngest patients. The third is uh, what uh, what are the potential complications in your study? Yeah. Youngest patients in, in in Russia, operated by me uh, a few few weeks ago. That was a three three kilos patient with the VSD around seven millimeters, with bad lungs, with a problem with uh, his intestine, and. Uh, uh, had many contraindication for CPB this time. That's why we closed this VSD uneventfully with good result. And now this patient uh, uh, general uh, surgery at month. And I just want to uh, congratulations of your work. And uh, we do some similar things works in in China. But uh, here is uh, uh, two questions for you. And the first one is during your group, uh, which is very um, good outcome. And do you find any um, AV block 
postoperatively? Uh, and if so, um, if, uh, can you find any um, links, risk factor of the device um, correlated to the um, AV block? The second question is, um, I noticed that um, the incision is sub uh, incision and uh, minimally um, partial stenotomy. Um, have you ever tried another um, access of the um, parasternal um, intercostal space um, access to to the VSD? Thank you. Thank you very much. Very interesting questions. First, we hadn't any blocks in our Syria, mm -hmm. any, and uh, we have we hadn't uh, any of the blocks during the operation and the follow up. We have a uh, two years follow up, and no 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 results. I I have uh, shown that in the presentation. And uh, about uh, minister to me in the inter intercostal space, we developed this approach especially for apical VSD. I haven't any time to show that, but we have an experience, uh, excellent experience uh, to close it directly through the small one or two centimeters in the coastal space, a muscular ap apical with this. Yeah. I think it's a brilliant approach. Yes. Uh, congratulations again, thank you. Okay, uh, where did you learn this technique? I've been in China first. <laughs> In, uh, in, in Shanghai, Nanjing, Beijing. That was my first visit. And uh, I have many, many, many friends in China. Okay. And uh, now we, uh, uh, we performed this procedure in, in, in other countries, for example, in Hungary, in uh, Kazakhstan. All good. So I just congratulations, quick, yeah. Yeah, I think these are excellent results. Uh, sorry, I don't want to belabor the point, but with membranous defects, uh, uh, how do you make sure that you don't uh, get the right-sided disc uh, tangled up with your tricuspid valve cordy? I mean, what no. what do you do preoptively to say, okay, this is a this is a membranous defect that I can close with the device with a certain degree of uh, uh, assurance, you know? Yeah, thank you. Everybody usually asks me about that. And uh, uh, this device, I remember part, uh, developed uh, so soft, and the waist of the device a little bit bigger than other uh, devices. Uh, and I think no hope, no no hope to close and uh, to to compress any codes. And uh, we didn't see this complication at all. Never. These are great results. Thank you.